Hi, I'm Mary Lou Susco. Garlic is a basic ingredient of almost every cuisine in the world. But did you know that there are actually hundreds of varieties of this famous herb? I'm at the home of garlic farmer Paul Zorn in Maro, and we're here to learn more about the herb that's called the stinking rose. Paul, tell us about some of the different varieties of garlic and their flavors. I have uh, hard neck and soft neck. They have different species of hard necks and different species of soft necks, which give you your difference in flavors. From hot, which is usually found in your soft necks, and the smaller bulbs. And the differences are in the stem. The hard necks have a, a stem that curls and makes a loop. Some of them make two or three loops. The more the loops, the more the flavor, in my opinion. The soft neck variety have no loops, yet they still have as many leaves, which are essential in the production of the cloves and the protecting skins. The hard necks are colorful and have strange names such as Chevesi, Persian Star, and are more colorful than your soft necks. The soft necks are white in color like the grocery store generic brand and if kept in storage a little bit longer, can become extremely hot. Your stiff neck garlics basically uh, are the best for cooking and roasting. Persian Star has won every contest in the roasting divisions in Kilroy, California's cook-offs. The soft neck artichoke varieties are less flavorful but can be hotter if you keep them longer in storage, which your artichoke variety does keep a lot better in storage. It sounds like what you're saying is that we compare different types of garlic with different types of cuisine, kind of like how we'd match wine with different cuisines. Is that true? Absolutely. They, uh, you can compare them with uh, different varieties of wine. Uh, different flavors of garlic can be used for roasting and others for just everyday cooking. Persian Star, Chevesi, and other purple stripes are your best uh, roasting garlics. And the soft necks are sometimes hotter and can be used in the Asian dishes. I highly recommend the Soul Sister. Besides Peace Angel Farm, where else can you go to get good quality heirloom garlic? I shun from going to grocery stores with your generic garlics, which are all white and 99% artichoke variety. You won't find any stiff neck, so go to your local farmer's markets and you'll probably find your stiff neck heirloom garlics. Damn. Currently, my garlic has just been planted in uh, October and it's covered with straw, which will insulate it. And then all we have to do is wait till spring comes, start weeding, and the next thing you know, you'll, the garlic will be growing the scapes and the stems that you can sell and cook and eat and you can actually leave them on there and let them turn the seed. Back in early July or late June depending on the weather you can uh, start harvesting your bulbs. I loved being at Paul Zorn's farm talking about the different types of garlic that he raises. Now that we're back in the kitchen let's talk about how to prepare that garlic for your recipes. Depending on how you prepare garlic for your recipe, you can make a strong garlic meek or a meek garlic strong. If your recipe calls for using multiple cloves of garlic, peeling them can be a challenge. I'm going to show you an easy way to peel them. Separate the cloves into a bowl and then take another bowl the same size, place it over the top and then just shake. And when you separate the two bowls, you'll find that the paper has fallen away from most of the cloves of garlic. Whole cloves will impart the mildest flavor in a recipe, so I'll use whole cloves for roasting. Once you crush the clove, you've exposed the inside, so the flavor will be a little stronger. Then, when you chop the clove, this flavor will be even stronger. But once you cook it for a long time, the flavors will mellow out, and that's what I'm doing in this garlic soup recipe that I'm making. Here's our garlic soup. It contains four heads of garlic, but you'd never know it. With tips from my Ohio kitchen to yours, I'm Mary Lou Susco.